Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Soul Magic Inspirations and I'm here with the Divine Feminine Energy Check-In. For those in separation, no contact. Um, thank you for being here. If you want to support me further, I have a Patreon, uh, Love Magic membership for exclusive and first view on some of the Soul Magic, uh, sorry, some of the Soulmate Twin Flame readings and also a membership um, called Love and Lives on my YouTube channel. So you can check those out. It's a way to support me further. If you would like a healing session from me using Compassion Key, I do have a half price offer right now. Um, the link for that will be down below. I can help with anything with that. It really goes very deep. Um, and I will leave the code for the discount. Okay, so I've pre-shuffled the oracles and we're going to have a look at the Divine Feminine Energies right now. And this connection. So this is for those in separation, no contact. So we've got number 34, 7 energy, success. So I feel the Divine Feminine is coming into a period of success or has succeeded at something, Feel she's done some achieving. Um, you know, she's been focusing on herself in this separation and working hard and achieve some level of success or moving towards that success and we've got magic we've got another seven wow so seven seven energy so yeah connecting with your own magic connecting with your own magic within you your gifts your talents really reconnecting with who you truly are i feel and focus yeah this does remind me of uh merlin um number five so you know wizard of the woods so yeah, connecting with that magic within you, having that focus. I mean, magic is that focused intention, you know, and focusing on what it is you truly want to manifest. You know, it's like the magician energy. So you're you're really starting to manifest your desires or you're working on that. And you're transmuting, you know, you've been transmuting lower energies. We've got an 11 energy there. So, yeah, going through the dark night of the soul, going through healing, going through releasing whatever you've been doing, transmuting lower darker energies and, and coming into like you know coming into that lighter energy within you another five energy so accepting where you're at right now accepting all of who you are you know nobody's perfect accepting the good and the bad acknowledging those shadow aspects i feel you've been doing that and walking through the world in grace you know having grace for yourself having grace for others um being in a non-judgmental energy and maybe focusing on family, maybe some of you already have a family, six energy here, love. So maybe getting closer to family or really wanting to create your own family, really feeling that. And wolf spirit animal could be very powerful for you, could resonate for you as well. So look up the meaning of that. But really maybe, you know, getting closer to family or wanting to create a family of your own. And being flexible, you know, not for seven. Well, we've got triple seven energy here. So being more flexible in life, maybe being more open-minded. Um, you know, if things don't go the way you want, maybe just going with the flow, just being in, being in that flow energy. And I feel that's really going to be benefit, beneficial for you. And again, transformation energy. No, well, is that number eight? I think it's eight. So this is an eight year that we're in, 2024. So definitely by the end of the year, you'll see transformation. So I feel that's inner transformation and also external. That will ex go externally. So all the inner work that you do will transform into the external, if that makes sense. So you're going to be tapping into the flow, tapping into your magic, having focus to achieve that success and that transformation in your life and bringing in happiness here. And knowing you're responsible for your own happiness, knowing you're responsible for that, that, you know, we cannot rely on other people to do that. Only it comes from within us and we have to take on that responsibility. And purification, yeah, having that fresh start, you know, cleansing, clearing, releasing, whatever you're doing to cleanse away the past, to let go of toxic behaviours, patterns, thought patterns, Whatever it is, purification, you know, stepping into a new beginning and releasing what no longer serves you, let, letting it go. And activation, yeah, coming into a period of activation. We've got the swan energy here, but can you know, that twin flame, we've got fairies. So there's some activation happening within you. Um, and you're going it's gonna feel like springtime. 
um, you're going to feel rejuvenated in some way. So that, that's going to be very important. Yeah, transcending obstacles. And I've, is that an eight? Uh, yeah, eight, two plus eight, ten. So a new beginning. You're transcending all the obstacles that you had. You're, you're moving, sorry, you're moving beyond that. And you could have a special connection to unicorn energy here as well. And stepping into your power, we've got dragon and unicorn energy. Wow, we've got an 11, 11 energy here. Because um, we had the 29, yeah, 29, and then we've got 11. So stepping into your power, um, taking back your power, acknowledging the power within you, acknowledging the gifts. Again, some of you could be connected to dragons as well. And really stepping into that and feeling protected. Look, that dragon is protecting, guiding, connecting. So you could have a connection coming in. Or a reconnection, you know, with a, a unicorn or a dragon or both. So let's clarify this energy. So what can you tell us about this success energy here? <clears throat> can you tell us about this success energy? What can you tell us about that? Yeah, look at that Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands, you know, she follows her passion um she's passionate she's creative she's sexy um she's a leader she takes charge you know in that feminine energy and you could be attracting a lot of attention right now and we have got two of cups energy so with the magic so you're attracting in this cup this you're attracting in this mutual love so for some of you it is definitely your divine masculine returning if that resonates and for others of you, if that doesn't happen, you are going to attract in a love. You are going to attract in a soulmate um, with your intention and focus and magic. You're, you're going to manifest that. Yeah, look at that. Magician. Oh, my God. I love the way spirit works. Thank you, spirit. Um, the magician on the magician. So you've got the power, basically. You have all the tools and skills at your disposal. Wow, look at that. Ace of Cups. So being in that loving energy, being in that self-love energy, loving yourself. That's where it all starts from. That's where the magic happens when we love ourselves. And then, how you know, if we don't love ourselves, how can we expect others to love us? And stepping into that acceptance energy, acceptance of self, yeah, knowing your strengths, knowing your weaknesses, knowing and accepting all of you, the good and the bad. Um, <clears throat> and moving through the world with grace. Yeah, having that new beginning, you know, taking that leap of faith, taking that chance. And with the family, we've got three of pentacles. So that is creating, that is working together. And I feel, you know, if that two of cups, you're going to want to create this with this person. A family, a home, working together to build something, a life together here. So what's this flexibility about? Yeah, we've got page of pentacles. So, yeah, there could be messages coming in, um, but communicating your truth, I feel that's talking about communicating your truth, letting others know. And we've got the transformation, we've got Ace of Swords, so being authentic, stepping into your power, taking back your power, speaking your truth, and knowing you're responsible for your own happiness here, taking back your power. Yeah, look at that judgment energy. So divine justice, divine judgment, you know, rebirths, new beginnings, destiny. You know, you're meant to be happy. You're meant to have a happy life. And purifying the past, you know, that purification energy there. Yeah, we've got the chariot. And as you do that, your world, your life will move forward. Things are going to start moving forward quickly. And there's an activation coming in here. <clears throat> what's this activation about again eight of wands so you know movement forward communication as i said communicate to others communicate to yourself be honest and you're transcending any obstacles you're rising above any obstacles wow we've got the empress so you're stepping into the empress energy you're stepping into that divine power, power, divine feminine energy 
and we've got power you're stepping into your power you're more powerful than you think wow we've got the sun so stepping into that beautiful loving energy of self um being responsible for your own happiness being in that receptive loving energy um is where you step into that power you step into that divine feminine essence so let's look at the other energies so we've got self-expression so you know connecting with your inner voice connecting with your throat chakra um, speaking your truth being assertive and and speaking you know expressing it what it is and it's that you want and expressing your individuality some of you could be singers maybe or you communicate maybe you do podcasts maybe you do youtube like i do something like that where you're expressing yourself and for others to hear and yeah come stepping into that confidence with the solar plexus you know stepping into your power as i said that personal power and we've got sexuality being you know confident in your sexuality being open you know expressing yourself and honoring yourself in that way and opening your heart chakra opening up to love opening up to that self-love opening up to receive love and being in the moment but having that awareness and a reality focusing on the now is where the power lies and maybe you've been doing some training some re-education but widening your knowledge in some way so whether this is internally you're getting downloads or maybe you're reading or or whatever you're doing getting information studying something and as i said becoming more flexible with that knowledge and mastering your emotions and um, really get connecting with your feelings um really working with them you know and allowing yourself to master your emotions and honoring them honoring any feelings or or, or emotions that come up and releasing and healing that if it's a negative emotion and getting creative you know the, the queen of wands is very creative so connecting with that sacral chakra, connecting with your creativity, that spark, that divine spark, using your imagination to create something beautiful. And following your intuition and trusting in that. And the more you use it, as I always say, the stronger it becomes. I feel that you're really starting to trust in it and it could have become more powerful. And, can it, you know, really working on your, you know, your day-to-day -day things, building up you know your finances building up your own stability um attracting in success and money abundance um you know with this release work you've been doing to allow in more good and in that self-worth knowing your worthy, you knowing you're deserving of all good and opening up to receiving with that empress energy the money flow and having forgiveness you know letting go of the past healing growth and compassion so really stepping into that energy <clears throat> And it starts with self. And as I always say, when you forgive others, it doesn't excuse behaviour. It just gives yourself permission to move on. So do that if you need to. And this is my hidden thoughts and feelings. So what do they want to say? So they're masculine. There is something about you I cannot resist. Will you let me see you and tell you my truth? So you really want to speak your truth. I'm working on my healing right now. And my dark side was very dark. I went to dark places. So I feel that could be mutual. Um, but yeah, doing shadow work, doing that inner healing work needed. And it was love at first sight. I never told you this. So you could have really felt immediately that you had love for this person. And my life has been full of obstacles. It's been difficult. So we can see that there's been challenges on both sides. And let me be your one and only love. So that you're both saying the same thing. I love the way it mirrors there. So a beautiful message. So if if you enjoyed that, please give me a thumbs up. And I will see you next time. Many blessings.